there and play full speed football, full pads on. You know, we can't tackle to the ground in uh, practices, so it's good to see. Like a lot of times you'll wonder on film if the running back's making it out of there or if that DB is making that play in space, and it's just good to actually see those plays follow through. How much more comfortable are you at center now than you were, say, to start a spring drills? I'm much more comfortable. I mean, it's just Coach Andrews done a good job of giving us reps and making sure we've got all the different combinations of offense linemen on the field so that we have our – the main thing is just getting the communication across, you know, getting our mic points and things like that to all of our guys. So that's just something that's taken reps, and it's been nice to have that uh, have that experience. I feel a lot more comfortable than I did. Anybody in the room that uh, has impressed some of you veterans on the team that's maybe some younger guys on the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, Jagger Burton's a very talented guy. We got he's going to be, it's just his second season. He's stepping up in a big way. Uh, he's going to be a contributor for us this season. I'm really excited to see his development. Uh, David Wallaba is the same way. Um, DeAndre Buford's really stepping up. He's being asked, he's being tasked and asked to do a lot more than he has in the past, and he's doing a really good job. You know, we talked to Brendan uh, a couple days ago, and he said it's the most physical camp that he's had in his career. Do you kind of agree with that? And if so, why do you think that? I agree with him 100%, and I think it's just because of the talent we're bringing into this, uh, this program. I mean, there's more competition for spots. Like, no one's just going to come in as a starter. Those spots have to be earned. That playing time has to be earned because there's a lot of talent in this building, and there's a lot of talent that we can put on the field. Young man, he's getting a lot of tech, uh, getting a lot of talk on defense right now. Uh, you know, what, what, what kind of uh, uh, challenges does he bring to you as a youngster? I mean, he's young, man. Yeah, Dion's young and he's raw, but he's very physically gifted. I mean, he's very tall. He plays with a lot of length. He plays with really good explosion and strength for a young guy. And it's just something that he'll be able to provide a great look for us on offense because he's built just like every other SEC defense lineman we play every day. So it's great to have a guy like him to go against. And he's only going to get better with time. And he's already shown he's a very talented guy. Mark said that uh, out of all the rooms, maybe the D-line stood out to him maybe as much as any. How is it helping you guys and helping you grow going against uh, such a well offense? Line. Yeah, it just goes. I mean, it's a battle in the trenches every day, and iron sharpens iron. Everyone knows that. So, having a talented defensive unit to go against every day. I mean, I think we have some of the best linebackers in the country. I think we have some of the best defensive linemen. Being able to go against those guys every day is only making both sides of the ball better. Mark said that he shared was able to make some plays with his guys. What was your impression of his practice? I think Kyle's come a long way. He's a young guy that hadn't got a lot of reps. You know, I mean, Will's obviously a great quarterback, so it's, you're not going to take snaps from him. But Kyle's done really well with the reps. He's, I think he's really grown this offseason especially. He's taken big strides in his game since spring, and I'm really impressed with him as a young guy. You know, one of the words I hear used to describe this team is competitive. You used it yourself. And yet, when we talk to all the guys within the individual rooms, there seems to be a sense of support for each other, a camaraderie. What do you attribute that to? I think it's just being a part of a player-led program. I mean, that competition's there, and it's healthy. It's what you need to compete in the SEC. We need depth. We need competition at spots. And, but at the same time, it takes a mature group to realize that that competition is just make everybody better and that we're not going to get feelings hurt about things that guys can do better than others and that we're just going to support each other to put the best product on the field on Saturdays. Do you think that'll happen even after a few losses here or there, or is this something that we're going to see throughout the course of the year? It's something you're going to see throughout the course of the year. It's ingrained in the guys that we have in this building. A lot of a lot of players responding to the basketball school thing on Twitter the other day. Did you guys talk about it amongst yourselves? Did you all, you know, come up with some sort of group consensus? I guess. No, it's not really that big a deal. I mean, there's 136 FBS programs that play sports, and we finished ninth in the Directors Cup. So I think we're a pretty well-rounded athletic department here. All right. Yep. Yep. One more. Oh, sure. Just, what are your thoughts about it? Where you guys are right now in, in the run game, you kind of established you know, the big blue wall and the power run game over the years. Where is it right now after a good physical scrimmage? That big blue wall is something we have to earn every season, and I think we still have a lot of ways we can improve. The run game is going to be different. It's different than it has been. You know, I mean, we're going to run different schemes and different looks that we're going to try and be very multiple to give defenses trouble, and I think we just need to keep getting better. It's a good start, but we still got a lot of work to do.